Yamaha Concert Grand Pianos are created from carefully selected top quality materials and reflect the superb technique and pride of our skilled craftsmen. Yamaha places a great deal of importance on human sensory experience as well as the scientific approaches employed in the processes of piano production. We believe that perfect sound is generated from a dimension that is beyond the reach of science and can never be measured in numerical values. Forming the carefully selected materials into the supreme instrument and taking advantage of unique characteristics of the chosen material is the mission of the craftsman. Craftsmanship, the fruits of man's technique and sensitivity, lies in the completed piece. The quest for the perfect sound begins with a meticulous selection of the materials. Only prime spruce, with its high resilience that makes for excellent sonic transmission, is used for the soundboard, the heart of the piano. The boards selected in the process of Kidori are then spliced. This is called edge gluing. This process is very critical in maintaining vivid and resilient sound for long periods. Swift, precision teamwork of the craftsman is required to stay ahead of the quick setting adhesive used. The splice boards are cut to the shape of the sound board. and then left in the seasoning room at a constant temperature and humidity for a long period. The rim, the framework of the piano, is then made. Very high pressure is applied to multiple thin boards coated with adhesive to form the graceful curve of the grand piano. Under this pressure, the boards are formed into a single piece of wood that features the strength required to form the backbone of the piano. Advanced casting technology is also very important to piano production. The frame for a concert grand piano is traditionally hand cast since the frame must be strong enough to withstand string tensions of approximately 20 tons and greatly affects the resonance when it vibrates with the strings. The outer rim, which is the all-important acoustic foundation of the piano, is produced by gently curving the plate. A good balance between strength and resilience is required for the outer rim, which houses the back frame to support the soundboard and plays a role of acoustic foundation in the piano. Craftsmen form the outer rim into the shape of the mold within a very short time before the adhesive hardens. The outer rim is then stored in the seasoning room. The time we are willing to spend on each individual process to build a piano may seem extravagant, but is critical for creating high quality sound. Glue is generally used to bond the wood in the course of piano production, particularly for sections that greatly affect the resonance. The glue dries very quickly and is very slippery during the bonding process, making glue very difficult to handle. However, glue is the best material for preserving the critical acoustic properties of the wood and so is indispensable for piano production. The rib attached to the back of the soundboard transmits the vibrations to every corner of the soundboard.
in the rib perpendicular to the grain of the soundboard creates a more vibrant sound. Excessive glue pressed out when the ribs are attached is carefully shaved off. Craftsmen use utmost care even for areas that are not visible. The surface of the soundboard with the bridges attached is slightly raised. This is called the soundboard crown and is very important because it bears the main load of the high tension strings. The shape of the crown is carefully maintained as the craftsmen swiftly shave off the ribs to enhance the sound response. The main tools used are chisels and planes. The craftsman's shaving technique is critical to a variety of processes in piano production. High quality sound is created by highly skilled shaving. The outer rim is cured under natural conditions for the required time before being bonded to the back frame side brace, the foundation of the piano. The back frame, outer rim and plate are integrated to support the high tension of the strings of the grand piano. The bridge plays a very important role in transmitting the vibration of the string to the soundboard. Yamaha uses a vertically laminated bridge made by laminating plates together to enhance the strength of the piano and sound transmission. The grain of the wood is also aligned end to end along the curve of the bridge. This results in better sound balance and smoother transmission of tone and power. The bridges are then bonded to the soundboard. This is performed on a special work table called a tzizadai, using the same method as that for bonding the ribs. The craftsmen press the bridges using subtle hand control that cannot be reproduced by a machine. The surface of the outer rim is treated before coating. A hand plane, spoke shave, scraper and so on are used depending on the shape of the sections to be shaved. Although it is a tough job that requires a lot of strength, this is a very important process in obtaining a mirror-like gloss after painting. The skill of the craftsman and bite of the tools determine the brilliance of the surface. The soundboard is then bonded to the back frame. The bonding of the soundboard is a very critical process because it affects the final quality of the sound produced. Not even the slightest lifting is allowed between the soundboard and the back frame. Accordingly, speed and good teamwork are necessary for this process. Each craftsman goes about his own tasks in silence concentrating on bonding the soundboard to the back frame. The uncoated frames are delivered and carefully matched with the main body of the piano. Bridge height adjustment is just as important as frame matching. Craftsmen tighten the thread instead of the actual strings to carefully determine the height of the bridge. They shave the surface of the bridge with utmost care until the indexed height is obtained. Then they check the bridge height again. If the bridge is too high, sustain is lost. If it is too low, the sound generated will not resonate as desired. The optimal bridge height obtained over many years of experience in making pianos is applied to the entire sound range. 
Holes are bored for the bridge pins that support the strings on the bridges. Bridges are coated with graphite to smooth the strings and maintain tuning stability. Any unnecessary areas on each bridge are then shaved off to prevent the strings from contacting the bridge. Craftsmen painstakingly engrave beautiful geometric patterns using a very sharp, very accurate chisel. Almost 500 bridge pins are hammered in at one time. The heads of the bridge pins are filed to maintain uniformity and burns are carefully removed. After the frame has been carefully matched with the main body of the piano, the frame is returned to the workshop. The entire frame is then carefully polished using sandpaper before painting. Spray coating is carefully performed by the craftsman. As you have seen, Yamaha also is unique in fabricating the frames in-house for total quality control. The surface of the soundboard is leveled before coating. Craftsmen run their fingers over the surface to be sure that even the slightest rough spots, even those not visible, are detected. The coating of the soundboard also has a significant effect on the quality. To optimize the vibration of the soundboard. The frame, the mainstay of the piano, is then attached. The frame is placed on the wooden plate, so the frame does not directly contact the soundboard. The height of the plate is fine-tuned by a skilled artisan until the frame is set in the perfect position. Approximately 230 strings are carefully set one at a time by the craftsman. It is extremely important to determine the position of the strings depending on their length and diameter. Yamaha is continually seeking the optimal arrangement of strings that matches the main body of the piano. After the strings are set, primary tuning is performed. A technique called chipping that involves tuning while plucking the strings is used before the playing mechanism is installed. The action is a mechanism that can be said to be the brain of the piano. The action precisely transmit the subtle movement of the fingers that touch the keys to the hammer that hits the string. At Yamaha, we fabricate all components of the action by ourselves. For example, rotary parts called flanges are machined to a precision of five hundredths of a millimeter, which is the equivalent of parts used in precision machines. Greatest care is taken when the action is installed in the main body of the piano. The strike points are adjusted so that the hammer always strikes the string at the correct position. This operation makes the tone and volume uniform to produce the ideal sound. Then a damper is attached. The position of the damper is fine-tuned so the thick, soft felt of the damper precisely contacts the string to ensure the perfect damping performance. This operation also requires a vast amount of experience.
a specially developed automatic piano player plays the keyboard repeatedly to settle in the assembled part. This original automatic piano player can play complete musical compositions, taking ample time to thoroughly fit in the piano. Regulation is a process that adjusts the keyboard action to precisely respond to the touch of the player. The height and depth of the keyboard are adjusted. There are approximately 1,000 items that must be adjusted to tune the piano. To tune even one key on the keyboard, 12 items including the capstan and the back check must be adjusted. Regulation is performed while the sections that require adjustment are acquainted with the structure of the piano. However, this is not the end of piano production. After tuning, regulation, and voicing, the piano is transformed from a single musical instrument box into an exquisite medium capable of producing extraordinary sounds. The completion of a Yamaha Concert Grand Piano is the culmination of a great number of processes that take an enormous amount of time. Although we live in an era dominated by science, the piano creates a mysterious world of sound beyond the reach of science. ...and the acute and delicate sensitivity of mankind. The Yamaha Concert Grand Piano continues to develop, reflecting the spirit of the craftsman and improving techniques in the pursuit of the ultimate in sound quality.